The following is a presentation of Muddy River Sports. Welcome to another episode of Shuck on a Truck, brought to you by Shot and Kirk Toyota. I'm Muddy River Sports Editor Matt Shuckman, hanging out on the tailgate over here in Northeast Missouri, near Ewing, as the Highland football players inch closer to that season opener against Mark Twain. And joining me here on the tailgate, quarterback and safety Jonathan Hager, linebacker and fullback Kaysen Bliven, linebacker and running back Christopher Gauss. Hi, guys. Howdy. How's everybody today? Good. Okay, you are getting closer to that season opener. Uh, we got Jamborees coming up on Friday night. How much progress have you guys, Jonathan, I'm going to start with you. How much progress have you guys made in this preseason? I think we've made a lot of progress, the whole team coming together. I think we've done pretty good. Casey, what's been the thing you've been most encouraged by? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> and as your teammates interrupt your answer, which, hey, that's not an unexpected when we do this. Yeah, most encouraged by was probably the alumni, uh, Alex Henning, who graduated last year. Yeah. Probably was push me to be my best okay Chris what's gonna make this team special what, what's gonna set you guys apart and that we're all uh, we all got that heart we all got that fight that, uh, that we want to win we're tired of losing every year we're ready to ready to win keep winning John you you guys saw that 21 team that went eight and three and, mm -hmm. and and you guys were coming up through the program then through the junior high program and stuff how much has that impacted you guys to know that it it's capable Highlands capable of winning um you know, just seeing that team, seeing how good they work together, it was it was something to watch my freshman year. Yeah. And, you know, as a freshman, you always look up to the upperclassmen, and you always just want to be them, want to be that winning team. Chris, you were, you were a junior high kid on the sideline at that time. What did watching that team mean to you? Uh, it was like, it was a taste of winning that Highland hasn't seen for a while. And since I got into high school, they all left, and I never got to really be a part of that. I just always wanted to remake that or do do better than them. Casey, for you younger guys, what's how much do you guys want to make sure that you're part of that? Part of a part of a winning team and a winning program. I mean, our sophomore and freshman class, they have a lot of heart. We have a lot of kids that are stepping up that thrive to be like them guys. We were them little kids in youth football just looking up to them and thinking, yeah, we want to be them one day. Jonathan, if anybody read our, our preview of you guys on MuddyRiversports.com, they know you're moving from wide receiver to quarterback. Mm -hmm. How's the adjustment going? Oh, it's gone pretty good, you know. Each bad ball I throw, I'm always getting given crap by a couple <laughs> of those guys back there. But they're pushing me, you know. They're always keeping me on my toes, telling me when I suck, telling <laughs> me when I'm doing good. But how much is, is, does that help, Chris? So you're able to, to, to kind of razz him a little bit, needle him and say, okay, you screwed that one up, but let's come back and get the next one. Is, it, is there a positive side to it all as well? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Like I said before, we're all we're all having fun. Everyone's getting coached, yeah. no matter what. We're not going to take anything personal. It's all about winning football games and having fun playing it. Casey, how good of, of leaders are the upperclassmen right now? Oh, our upperclassmen are great leaders. I mean, we got four out of them five down linemen that really have stepped up and they're really being leaders. And then Johnny in the backfield, I mean, he's just really taking ahead of the whole team and telling us what to do and where to be. And just he really is just driving the team to be better. This is Shuck on a Truck brought to you by Shot and Kirk Toyota hanging out over here at Highland High School as we get ready for the football season opener. Um, Jonathan, what's going to make this defense good enough to contend in the CCC? Oh, everyone's always on the same page. We got guys out there that like to talk and they like to communicate, tell everyone what's going on, and they'll they'll tell you what you're doing wrong and what you need to do to do better. All right, Chris, every time somebody mentions talking and, and being vocal, they look at you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is, is, is that you? Are you that guy on the field that is, is the vocal leader? Uh, I like I like to say that. Booby over here has stepped up. <laughs> and, uh, he, has, he is definitely trying to take my spot a little bit, being vocal. But I don't mind it. I love, I love calling the defenses. I love helping Schroeder come up with uh, call signals and everything. Yeah. I love I love defense a lot more than I love offense, I'll be honest. Okay, so what, what do you like about this defense? Oh, defense, I really just like how uh, our strong side, man, I was just talking and we always just flow into the ball. And nine times out of ten, we got 11 heads to the ball every time and we don't ever leave a guy out. We're always on their tail if they're lacking off or anything and we're just pushing each other to be better. I know Coach Arnsman was talking about the, it's a process. It may not see the best of you guys till three or four weeks into the season. With that in mind, though, how important is week one to get it started on the right way? Donovan? 
you know, it's it's good to get off to a good start and then you can get off to the races, but you gotta go piece by piece, put it all together first before you can get going. Chris, what's it gonna take to have a good start? Good start. We're gonna be on the same page. We can't be uh, cutting each other's throats off. We gotta stay as a team. We gotta stay whole. We gotta see it out. Okay, so you guys got a great facility here over, I mean, looking over there with a great new the turf field and, and a great press box and the, the whole thing and a lot of support there's a lot of kids out here for for the youth leagues and stuff what does the the support of the highland community mean to you guys uh, it's just really all them little kids it's just thinking that we were them one day looking up to them upperclassmen and looking up to them high school kids and just thinking that we're putting that impact in them kids lives that the older classmen like robert gale and drew mallet did to us and I'm just letting them kids know what the highland is, what highland is all about if there's one thing you got to say that's going to make the difference this year, what would it be? Um, don't put us out. We're going to be there. We're going to be scratching into every game. Chris? Um, like Major Wright said, we don't want the ball. We don't want him. We're going to strike fear in everyone we got. What about you, Casey? Yeah, I, I got to agree with Chris. <laughs> yeah, right on head. Definitely just defense. That's, a, that's one word just to explain it all. It's just defense. Definitely all got to be yeah. there on one page. Awesome. Well, good stuff, guys. Thank you for taking the time to do this. Good luck as you get ready for that season opener. And who knows? Maybe we'll get to talk to you guys on Monday Night Lights, our new football show that's going to be on I Friday nights. I hope so. Yeah, so hope hopefully, so. hopefully Highland does something that we talk about you guys, right? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Awesome. For the Highland football players, I'm Matt Shuckman. This has been another episode of Shuck on a Truck, brought to you by Shot and Kirk Toyota. Muddy River Sports, our home. Our sports.